five, I knew this kid for like five years. Like, from high school into college. Every, I chilled with him like, and like, like a few weeks ago actually, when we saw him. And like every day after that, every Friday, I just see him at one o'clock on the McDonald's and Chambers. Just say what's up to him and stuff. He was like a, I don't know, he was like a big part of my life. It's just crazy that he's not here, and I gotta go back to school. And it's gonna be that feeling like he's not here no more. And a lot of people probably had class with him. Now you're gonna know what happened. I knew Shaq for like five, out to be six years. He basically got the name Baby Shaq because of me. Because I was Big Shaq, even though he was older than me. He was still short, so we called him Baby Shaq. But yeah, he was. He, he could have been one of them dudes you just wanted to hit sometime, but he he meant it in all love. Like, he was a cool, cool dude. Like, we used to have a whole team. I remember freshman year, like we used to all go to Manhattan Mall, chilling, trying back girls, everything. We had some good moments. Like, you know, we used to just sit there joking on each other. Everything we did, like, it was just happy moments. I can't name one sad moment I ever had with him. Even if he was going through something, he always found a way to make everybody laugh with him. Or we would make jokes and he would laugh and just lighten up his spirit. It kind of hit me a little later after I heard that he passed because I was like, I was just with this dude like the Friday before, like a high school I had a talent show and I was literally like on the corner of where we at right now and he was just telling me where my other bro Charles was at and we just started talking about mad stuff. He was a sneakerhead so we used to talk about sneakers and stuff too but aside from all that recent stuff like looking back on everything Shaq was a real dude. Like there was moments like we would have disagreements we would have little times where we don't speak, but overall he was a cool dude, like I, I'd always look out for this dude, like regardless. And we had the same name, so if he was in the hallway and somebody said Shaq, we both would turn around, it was one of them awkward moments, but this was a cool dude, it was somebody that I didn't expect to be taken from me, and I wouldn't even say me, personally because I'd be selfish, but I didn't expect him to be taken from all of us or the world, period. It's, kind of, it's hard, like don't get me wrong, like it took me a minute to get over, like, I'm not even over to, to, to be perfectly honest with you, like, the song called me, I mean, early that day, matter of fact, I was speaking to you early that morning, I'm like, yo, I just got my Xbox, nigga, I'm gonna bust that ass, nigga, Shaq on the phone, nigga, nah, <laughs> mine, nigga, always thought, oh, Celsius was the best and everything, nah, sorry, they whack, no. they, they, they lost, they lost the other day, you know, they lost, right, <laughs> alright, but, it's so crazy, like, I spent pretty much my whole summer with you, beside you, all that. Like, the whole summer, son. I never thought you'd go, like, summertime coming up, home and chill with. No, I still got my niggas, but nobody I was act really actually that close with besides Frankie. Like, to have you gone is like, really losing a brother, like, you was my, my left hand. Females. Um, sneakers, everything was a competition between me and you. Everything. You used to bet me to do dumb shit, Ace go talk to that girl, Ace go talk to this girl. But then want to call me a man hoe in front of 50,000 other females. It's alright. We used to play, we used to give me up like that. But, uh, I'm gonna just miss all the stupid shit we used to do together, son. That's it. Today we look at angels. May our heart go out to the loved one we cherish. May our tears touch the heart for the brick sound in the heavens. May our respect be proven on this ground today. As our fellow brothers no longer with us, he lives in us in our own separate ways. Today we look at angels and realize our fellow man has become one. But we never look down and only look down for what we, what we have accomplished. As we look up for you, because you are our son. Today we look at angels and realize that even with the laws we can learn, the true meaning of brotherhood and love, those things will never leave our heart. So to our ears are our fallen angel and the moments we hold on to each other. We look out to you, we'll see you soon, Jimmy Mars, our last brother. Top to the flight, drop, drop the beat. Yeah. Oh, my compassion, yeah. Like a 
Come on. You're so beautiful, baby. Are you ready? Give me a move every time, like, cause, like, I'm always looking for different moves. So, like, every time he see me, like, Trini, you can't do this, and he do like a little fake turnaround. I was like, ah, oh, that was nice. I was like, I could do it better though. He's like, let me see. And I should just do a crazy spin. He's like, oh, all right, ah, uh, next period when the bell rings, see me. And that's the type of dude he was. He was always like a funny dude who wanna like make you make you better in a way, but at the same time, it was like a fun make you better. Feel me? Like, I ain't gonna front. Like, it was sad losing because. Like, like I said, like, he was a dude that I think everybody went for for different reasons. Like, like everybody said you had him for sneakers, you had him for personal reasons, but at the same time, you had him for love. Like, he was like a teddy bear, for me, like, no offense. I'm still King Teddy Bear. Whatever. For me, no I'm still Baby Shack. You know? He was, like, <laughs> he was like a teddy bear. Like, you know, everybody, everybody loved him. He was a soft, kind-hearted dude. Like, shout out to his family. Like, I feel for y'all, you know? I know it's a big love for y'all, understand? Like, not to sound like it, but God for everybody know me for a reason, you know? That's how I see it, so. I mean, baby Shack, rest in peace. I hope y'all like the video that we just made for you, bro, family, everybody. You know, as a message, don't take life for granted, you know? You don't know when your life's gonna be taken away. Like, you really gotta, like, you really wake up from this. Like, everything is a message in life. That's how I see it, so. From now on, I hope everybody here will actually, like, really take their life seriously. Like on a, on a real positive note, like, cause Baby Shaq, he was a real dude. And I see, like, it's not only like people who's game banging or something that's gonna like take away. It's, it's, it's normal people. We are human beings at the end of the day. So you really gotta understand, like, this is what this is what life is. You don't know what, you don't know when your life's gonna be taken. So you have to leave your mark in your life, knowing that you be satisfied. And to be honest, I know Baby Shaq was satisfied with his come up and his future plans, but at the same time, he's a great dude, feel me? 
So, everybody put your hands together for Baby Shaq, man. Right, yo, one time for Baby Shaq. Yeah, I know, we all, we all, but for me personally, I want on some basketball. You know, he like the Celtics. So, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. The basketball, you know? We're going to be like, oh, one, two, three, Baby Shaq. Right? All right? We're going to do like the basketball, right? So, we got Shaq, Shaq, Shaq. All right? One, two, three. Shaq, 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 Shaq. Back to you, back to you, back to you. <laughs>